Hi, this video is the uh, before and after hair transplant restoration surgery result. The one year post op before and after photo by Dr. Deep. And this client, um, you know, we did over 3,000 grafts. I'm extremely happy with the result. Look at excellent density, no topic, no, uh, you know, uh, concealer, nothing. This is all his real hair. And it's a perfect result for him. And I'm extremely happy with that. He actually had one procedure with some other clinic that not specialized in African curly hair. And uh, it's a total failure. It hardly anything grew. It's not how many grafts you put in. So when I tell you and quote a patient, if I say 2,000 grafts, my yield is around 90 to 98% growth rate. It's how many grafts that grow out. That's how much you should pay for, not how many grafts put in. Other clinics, they can say, oh, half of my price and put 10,000 grafts and more than double. But if nothing grew, then what's the use? And that's the really the most important factor that want to drive down. You don't just base about the number of graph they're trying to sell you. You base on how much it will grow and how much it will cover. Because you say, I have an area and I want that to cover. So, um, so this is where he was. And that's with one procedure with someone else already. And you see, that's a total failure, hardly any growth. And um, just a few straggles of hair in there. And you know, they, they can claim they can put 5,000, 10,000, it doesn't matter. It's how many grafts that grow. And this is with my work, over 3,000 grafts, food density. Okay? And this is to show proof that it can be work, it will work if you go to a specialist. So let's start from the beginning. Um, you know, hair transplant is not perfect. You will never get original density that God created. But with my work, you have excellent, excellent coverage. And, uh, and there's art behind surgery too. It's not just about putting hair and pray that it will grow out well. And um, so uh, you need both an artist and a surgeon. So from the mid eyebrow to the hairline for Asian and African American, it's around six and a half to seven centimeter. For the temple, it's utmost important for African curly hair because it frames the face better. For African American, it's straight down. For Asian, it's a little bit tilt backward, and Caucasian, it's a little bit more tilt backward. And so each ethnic have the hairline different. But again, when I create the hairline, I don't base just the ethnic, but I base on the individual facial structure. And I want to make sure that I create the most perfect hairline around for your face. And it's a custom hairline. And then this is a year later, you see. It looked very young and handsome. And uh, my other video, as I mentioned, it definitely looked like the weekend now, for sure, you know. <laughs> uh, yeah, maybe a, a few million less, but it's all right. <laughs> <laughs> but, but you can see, there, there's no hair on top, and then the temple I brought in at least an inch. Again, if I don't bring his temple, he has a really wide forehead, so. Uh, look at that, perfect. Um, you know, and the left side, hand side. Look at that. That's with someone else before, and this is my work, okay? Seeing is believing. And so this is where he was, and this is where he is now. Let's see, and we go all the way down, there you go, perfect. And this is his real hair. You can cut it, you can perm it, you can dye it blonde like OBJ, however you want to do it, and they all will grow back. Thank you.